It was once the land where powerful kings built stone fortresses and were rich in cattle, ivory, gold, and farmland. How do Zimbabweans now find themselves paying $150,000 for a roll of toilet paper? Zimbabwe is struggling with skyrocketing inflation, political corruption, and worsening environmental conditions. A country with the highest literacy rate in Africa, 91%, should not also have the highest inflation rate and the shortest life expectancy of 40 years old. How did this happen? Having fought a civil war for independence from Rhodesia just 30 years ago, Zimbabwe is still a young country. Breaking away from British colonial rule and establishing an African-run government was not easy. Many people died and many enemies were made. Robert Mugabe emerged as the prime, first prime minister of Zimbabwe, but he was far from the leader people had hoped for. He maintained his power by paying off the veterans of the Civil War and supporting the violent charge to take possession of over 1,000 white-owned farms. Under Mugabe, the farms failed and even less food were produced for the country. In 2005, fearing increasing opposition, he ordered the destruction of the homes of 700,000 poor people living in Zimbabwe's large cities. Recently, it appeared he lost re-election to Morgan Sivangere, but Mugabe has refused to accept the election results. A nation can't move forward if it doesn't have a successful economy. In Zimbabwe's case, there is next to no economy. It's not that a roll of toilet paper is actually worth $150,000. It's that Zimbabwe is producing so few goods. 80% of the country is unemployed. The basic needs of most people living in Zimbabwe are not being met. Toilet paper, bread, butter, clean water, meat, and tea are very hard to find because they are not being produced, and many people are too poor to buy them. The government's response has been to print more money. This is a major part of what's driving up the cost of goods. More money just means that stores can raise the price of goods. Severe drought, failed farms, people cooking with open fires in the streets, trash piling up in the cities, the spread of HIV, it's easy to see why the average life expectancy in Zimbabwe is estimated to be only 40 years old. The future of Zimbabwe rests in the hands of Morgan Savangre, but it will not be an easy transition of power. There are still many people loyal to Mugabe. Many of his supporters would rather see people struggling each day to find food than accept new leadership.